this is a uh, very quick video and it's going to show you how to remove control arm bolts which we all know is a pain in the ass you normally end up cutting them out and they're hardened so it takes forever you go through multiple wheels and then you have to drill through them and use multiple punches and it takes forever I've uh, perfected a way of removing these without breaking them it doesn't matter how stuck they are in there they have to be completely worthless for this not to work the tools you're going to want. I didn't even use this on these ones. This car, I'm doing this on a Honda Civic. This car is a 1989. Never had these bolts touched and I was able to remove them without heat. But you're going to want a torch. It's not any matches. You're going to want two hammers. One ball peen hammer. One standard hammer. And what you do with these is you're going to actually use the ball end and work around the bolt. Smacking here causes a vibration and loosens the rust. At which point, you're going to want to use this. This is liquid wrench. This is what has worked best for me, but uh, other things like PB Blaster work great. WD-40, not so much. You need something that's just penetrating that's going to seep in. As you smack with your hammers, this is going to slowly sink through. You're going to need two sockets, the other is on my impact, one for the wheels obviously and the other whatever size bolts you have. This is my impact, it's Milwaukee, half inch driver, uh, electric, works phenomenal. And then just, you know, you're going to want the glasses, you're going to want earplugs too because when you're slamming around in there all this rust is going to fall on your ears and it's going to really suck. You're going to have a bad day if you get shit in your ear. And your now, eyes. I have actually done the first two, and then I decided, you know, well, I know how to do it, and most of the people I know just end up breaking them and taking them out that way. So, I'll make a video on the last one. So, the first two are loose, one more to go. And, like I said, the, uh, the way we're going to be going about this is, first thing you want to do is spray penetrating oil on it, let it sit. I'm going to show you at the, uh, at the end me removing the last one, but you're going to want to let it sit for a couple hours. Um, you know, spray it on there, let the car sit overnight, doesn't matter. Next day, what you're going to want to do is don't do this step unless you can't get it off, because this can make things worse. Make rust get in places you don't want it to be. Um, those of you that don't know, the reason you would torch around the bolt is metal expands with heat. So when you're torching around, Expands, loosens the threads just enough to snap it out. But if you don't need it, don't use it. So then, after it's sat for a while, you're going to spray it. Just soak the piss out of it. You know? There is no sort shortage of liquid wrench. Use a fucking five gallon bucket. Just soak the piss out of it. Let it seep in. Like I said before, you're going to want to put the ball in around the bolt, um, around the bushings. Because a lot of times what happens is that bushing will break, it's, it's stuck in there. So what's going to happen is when it breaks loose, it's going to also break the bushing loose. You don't want that. You need the bushing to stay inside and the bolt to come out. This will loosen the bolt. It'll just start slamming away like so. Ball side, the part you want to loosen rust. Slam the piss out of it. Just make sure you're not hitting anything. Um, some cars have a little sheet metal uh, right where the bolt head sits up. I know this one does. And just tap around it, but you still want to hit it. You want the rust to loosen. Spray the piss out of it again. What's going to happen is the rust is going to fall away. Spray this. Then you're going to take your impact. You're going to tighten, loosen, tighten, loosen. And you don't want to reef on it. You want to just knock it this way, knock it that way. And after a while, you're going to notice that it's going to start moving. Weird thing is, it's not gonna. It's mostly gonna move tighter. That's fine. That's just gonna let this seep in more. You want to remove this so you don't, you know, spray lubricating, uh, penetrating oil. Fucking Harley's. Anyway, um, then you're gonna remove this, leave the socket on. It'll probably be stuck because it's rusty. Spray more lubricating oil. Let it sit for a couple seconds. Tighten, loosen, tighten, loosen. You're going to see it in the, this video. This was the hardest one. The other ones came off fairly easy. 
you do not want to hammer it when it stops. It's going to keep inching that way. It's got an inch loose. You yeah. don't want to keep hammering Give it a little bit to tighten, and then give it a tad bit more to loosen. And just keep doing that every time, and you'll keep working it back and forth. The threads are going to rub the rust off. This is going to seep in, keep making its way down the threads, and it's just going to come out. No cutting, no freaking headaches. They're just going to come out. They clean the bolts up. You can even reuse uh, the bolts or, you know, replace them or whatever, but you're going to be able to get them out. Patience is key. You can't just go hammering on shit. That's what breaks. So I'll show you. I'll do the last one and uh, hope this helps someone out.